and I know you know it. Sing with us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but We sang Amazing Grace. We'd always go on into, and when the battle's over, we swear a crown. Yes, we swear. You know, the older you get, you think back about things, you know, and uh, you, and sometimes you think, well, have I done this different or whatever, but, you know, uh, but you do think about times going on, you know, he thinks about Karen Carpenter, and, uh, and uh, you know. I won't anymore. <laughs> but um, I remember when, I, now this is probably late 70s, my mom had a 1969 Chevy Malibu. <laughs> Y'all remember those old cars? This car was light green. I still wish that we had it. Um, and uh, you got one? Now if you can get a 69, no. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Sold. Oh, she kept my house. <laughs> she kept my house. <laughs> uh, I used to I used to get mom's keys to uh, her car and, and I and um, and I go out there and I crank up the what I call the hi-fi radio. Oh, yeah. The what? <laughs> the hi-fi radio? Not high five. <laughs> hi-fi, H-I-F-I. You know, like Wi-Fi, but high five. <laughs> I still can't figure out what a melon letter is. A melon letter. You said you get, you get a melon easy. letter. 
They told me when we was coming up this far, we was going to have to have an interpreter. <laughs> hey, this is my show. Would you keep quiet back there? Not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> It's good for high fidelity. Really? That's a big word. <laughs> That's two words. <laughs> you must have did that common core stuff like they talked about. <laughs> what was it? Well, I don't know what it was. I know what it did. You had a knob over here, you turn it, the volume went up. You had a knob over here, you turn it, and the red thing went across. Nope. As the red thing went across, you heard... <laughs> Then you found a station you liked, you turned a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, back to the left, got your little sweet spot. Remember the sweet spot? Then if you couldn't live without that station, they had these five little things, you'd pull one out, pick the one you want, pull it out, push it back in, and it'd save the station sometimes. <laughs> Presets? Free sets had a speaker in the front and a speaker in the back. Surround sound. Surround sound. <laughs> I used to I used to crank up the the that that OAE on radio and, and it um and my dad every afternoon from four to six on AM nine hundred in Knoxville, Tennessee, still on the air today. And he he was the DJ and he played Southern gospel music. And it just blew me away as a kid. You know, whoa, my dad's on the radio. But then there was something else. There was one group he played that was totally different from everybody else. And they were like, you know, dad's on the radio. Well, they were like, oh, what's that group? You know, I turned up. Everything the group did was big. They had these big voices. They didn't sing. They sang. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know, you've seen those groups. All right. Later, I see him on a show called The Gospel Jubilee. And then later on, I saw him live. And sure enough, everything was big. They pulled up a big tour bus. They had a big five-piece band. They got out. They did big music breaks. I mean, they had five singers. Everybody in the group was big. Lady had big hair stuck up on her head. I mean, everything about this group was big. And they were called the Happy Good Men. Remember the Happy Good Men? I want to do a Happy Goodman family song, and I want to do it as close as we can to the Happy Goodmans. I know we got a uh, three-piece band instead of five-piece. We got three singers instead of five singers. <laughs> but that's but I, here's what I want to do. The biggest thing about them was the endings of their songs. It was like my hand. They had five singers. They had Sam. They had Russell. They had Vestal. They had Howard and a guy named Johnny Cook. And what they'd do, they'd all just go take off a different way, like my hand. It was like airplanes taking off. It'd be like zoop, 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 zoop. I mean, they're zipping around everywhere, and then they come back together at the end. Is that what airplanes sound like? <laughs> zoop, 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 zoop. I was thinking that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so here's what I want to do, Misty. I, I want you to go up. We're gonna do this big ending, and I and I want you to go up and hold this note, this big girl note. I want you to hold it out. For a long time, and Dusty, I'm going to take the airplane off. I'm going to zip it up, and I want you to bring it down, down, and land it. <laughs> That's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> it could <can> crash. <laughs> so we're going to do the music break. Hey, and the last course, we're going to do this soft little thing, and then come back heavy. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. <laughs> the Happy Goodmans, for some reason, some, I mean, there's no reason, I don't even know what reason why they did it, but they did it. They would be singing along, and they'd stop. Then start. Stop. Then start. They'd do that in their songs. I don't know why they did it. They did it, didn't they? Okay, now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop, and then start. And we're going to do that between the verse and the chorus. But when we do that, we have to do it like this. Like a wah. You act like you're afraid of me. These people think you're crazy. I know you're crazy. Listen, okay, now we got to say well. Well, okay? we got to go Whale. like well. Okay? But wah, but well. 
Okay. Whale. 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 Two syllables. Whale. Not like going whaling. Yeah. Whale. Whale. Great. Whale. Right. Whale. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do it like this. I saw him on the Gospel Jubilee, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna introduce them to you, the Happy Gummas, just the way that I saw. We're gonna, Dusty, we're gonna rumble, and then we're going, I'm gonna bring. Yeah, rumble, <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring in on the happy good ones. Y'all ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you make welcome to the Gospel Jubilee? Yeah. Uh -huh. 